coming to you live from Southern California. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway. And on the hill, the lefty, Reed Detmers. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Okay, all set to go. Luisa Rise stands in. Clips the corner, and we're off and running from Anaheim. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And it's a ball and a strike. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. This guy at the dish excels in two-strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Fights that one away, still one and two. And now the lefty. And a base hit right there. So a runner aboard to start the inning. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Close no, one ball. doesn't get the call, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Rudder takes off, and that one fouled off. Tatis waits. Three, Not one. close with that one, and that's ball three. Jerks and Profar to bat next. Three one is on the way and that one fouled off instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tied him up a little bit slightly up slightly in runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Jerks and Profar in the box now. Take strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Runners on the move. Profar gets a piece there. And a pitch. That oh. misses the zone. It's a ball in two strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. Liner stands at first. Well, not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Okay, let's check out the lineup. 
A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Jerickson Profar. Yeah, he's been swinging it really well over the last few weeks, man. And OPS over 900 last month. He's put the team on his back, just carrying these guys. Definitely the guy you want up there right now, especially when you need a big swing of the bat. Two on, one out. Now Machado up here. And it's through for a hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. In there for strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Bases loaded, one away. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That misses. And the count is one and two. They one tried two. to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Misses outside. And the count's even at two. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. They all pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. He's under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's saved. And it's 1-0. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Here's Donovan Solano. He's been a great free agent side. Right down to shoot. It's 0-1. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Two outs. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Oh, and two now. In the air, left field down the line, and that will drop foul. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Padres one, and the Angels nothing. in Anaheim and on the hill the big righty Michael King and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout and he'll one check swing no appeal Left hand hitter waits. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Cronenworth throws on to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've ball. got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base, so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated.
One down, base is empty. Ripped to third and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Taylor Ward. That misses the zone. One and oh. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Right into the plate. And ball. another ball. 2-2. Two, two. Two, two now. On the ground to the left. Machado throws to first in time. Angels retired 1-2-3. Angels go quietly there. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. The lefty fires. Campusano nope. goes five feet 11 inches 230 pounds and he was a second round pick back in 2017 next nice offering one. in there for a strike and that's strike one, one, and one. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish calling the balls and strikes but why to kick the pitch Ball, that's up. That's no, off the that's mark. Up. Three and one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You got to pick up. as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Jackson what? Merrill, batting with one down, takes a strike. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. Yeah, that oh. skips in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Right, right. through there for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some pitchers. One down, base is empty. Yeah. Got him swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Ha Sung one Kim ball, no at the plate now. That's ball one. Two outs. The shortstop oh. takes a ball. Oh. 
right. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. That one is absolutely belted. Back gone. His seventh home run of the season. It's 2-0. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That one no, that close, ruled the ball. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And two another and ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two out spaces empty. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. But the Padres add to the lead on a solo homer. It's now a two nothing ball game. And welcome back and to the ballpark. Here's Kevin Pillar. The left fielder. Kevin Pillar. King back to work. Right. That's in there. And that is strike one. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Pitch misses, and a count one and two. That one missed. <laughs> At the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. out there he battled for a long time but it finishes with a strikeout you can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one here's Joe Adele good power not great in the OBP department right through there for a strike Here comes the 0-1. Up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
batting fifth. The seventh fielder. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. In the air, right center. This is matched way back and down. He powers that one out of here. Third home run of the season. It's 2-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Booth. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Now it's going to be Zach Neto. Inside nope. just missed. 1 0. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. That misses the zone. 2 and 0. Oh. King, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. That is the catcher. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Fought off foul. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. The next pitch misses, and the crowd even one and one. Here goes the runner. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Two and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Kicks and fires. Got yeah. him. Two gone. Here's Luis Guillorme. King with a move to first. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Neto, the runner at first with two gone. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Nolan Shonowell, the next to hit for the Angels. That's the ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. First and second, two down. Wouldn't Dude chase that count. time. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 
Righty delivers. That catches the corner. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two on, two outs. And another ball. Luis Rangifo in the on deck circle. Fouls it back with two strikes. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Inside ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Got a great back and forth in that at-bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Really thriving with the bat this season here at home. That one hooked foul. Right-hander kicks deals. And fouled off. pitch oh he hit him and that brings home a run well that's the absolute worst time to lose control of your mechanics watching the runner trot in from third feels like just salt in the room fouled off he was late And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs, bases are full. Chopped to the right side. Grabs it barehanded to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. <laughs> Kevin Pillar, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. Outside. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Check yeah. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One and one. pitch that's inside look in situations like these the air can get really thin up there at the plate got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down the two one and another ball good pitchers make pitches in big situations and right here with the middle of the order hitter up runner in scoring position he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike Next offering in there for a strike. And it's a full count. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. Singled and scored his first time.
Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And yeah, the righty deals. Oh. Base is loaded, two down. Oh. Hit in the air, center field. Settles underneath it. Calls it in to end the inning. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. We head on now to the top of the third. Angels five and the Padres two. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Detmers back to work. And ball the ball onto the right fielder. You know, these Padres wow. showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And that's two in the dirt. Two and two. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Profar Ball. takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Foul ball. The Padres trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch is in there. That is strike two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And a curve misses outside. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Moniak ranging back towards the wall. Up against the wall and brings it in. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Angels five and the Padres two. Bottom of the inning and, and now Mickey Moniak. The center fielder. Mickey Moniak. The right-hander back to work. Fly ball, center field. Merrill in and to his right. Makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter number nine. Shortstop. Zach. And next for L.A., Zach Neto. One for one with a single and a run scored so far.
on the mound. He's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Swings through that one out in front that time. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Into center. In position. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. Up next for the Angels. The catcher. Matt Theis, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one. Oh and two. That's Ball. off the mark. Now one and two. Hey. He goes down looking. And the Angels are gone in order. They're still out in front, 5-2. Back in Anaheim, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jake Cronenworth. Pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Ball one oh. there. Strike two. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And another ball. Misses the zone. Three and two down. Goes down looking. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And now, Donovan Solano. And that's oh. off the inside edge. And that is ball one. And that one just uh -huh. missed off the outside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Oh. 
That ball. one misses. And that's ball three. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Three and one. And there's a foul ball. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Two outs, space is empty. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Right side. Adele makes the play, and it's out number three. And we're back. And Bottom four. So in now for the Angels, Luis Guillorme. Luis Guillorme. the pitch and that one is in for a strike you know these angels doing a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board but they've also made the starter work really hard out there and a good no, eye there that's the ball. like I said his pitch count is high so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped This to third, handled by Machado. Low throw, and he can't he take it out. out. Well, that's a pick you want to come up with as a first baseman. That's how you win that gold glove. But it's never on him to take the error on a throw like that. And he'll probably tell you he should have picked his teammate up, but he gave it a good effort, just couldn't get it to stick. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Nolan Shanuel. First no, pitch doesn't outside. find the Ball. zone. Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to third. Boots it. Fires to second for one. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Just missed. That one's in there. And the count one and one. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. 
Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. Just nope. missed. Ball. Right hater deals, and it's fouled away. Two outs. Smoked on the ground a second. Cronenworth throws on to first, and that will end the inning. Angels leave one, and it remains 5-2. a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number Carlos three. Estevez. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. And a pitch. Merrill in the box now as he leaves that one up high. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And a pitch. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. Here's a 2-1. Ball, up. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Down to four. Now fly ball to right center. Moniak settles underneath it. What a way. Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Estevez, the tall righty, 275 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And that's in for a strike. One out, base is empty. Swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.